guys, it's manager Kylie, and in today's video, I'm gonna go through the different positions in rugby sevens. So today I'm gonna go through the positions for rugby sevens. Um, this is another form of rugby that is very popular. I do have a separate video on the positions for rugby 15s or rugby union. Um, the big difference on them is seven players versus 15 players. There's a lot of overlap in the type of positions, but I'm gonna go through the seven specific positions that rugby sevens has in comparison to the 15 positions that rugby 15 has. And if you guys are interested in learning more sports administration content just like this, definitely the subscribe button, turn the bell so you get notified every time I upload as I post a new video every single Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time, and we're going to dive into these different positions. So like I mentioned, the big difference between 15s and 7s is there's only seven people on the field for this. Um, so you only have seven different players and different positions. A big aspect to this is your scrum is a lot smaller. You only have three people really in your scrum versus in rugby 15s, the scrum is a lot bigger. And going through these different positions, you're gonna see that people have to cover a lot more of the fields and you have a very different way of playing when you only have seven people on the field. I will say, uh, rules wise, this is a much quicker game. Um, and you'll realize that if in other videos where I go into rules, but this specifically, I'm gonna focus on the different positions. So starting off with the scrum and then we're gonna work our way backwards on the field is you have your different props. So you have your tight head prop and your loose head prop. So your two props are the edge of your scrum. Um, they're two forwards that are playing on the sides of your scrum and they're very vital to the setup of the scrum. Specifically on the left side is where you have that loose head prop and then on the right side is your tight head prop. In between the two of them is your other forward and that is your hooker. They're a very vital player as they're the one really working in that scrum to try to get the ball out and get it towards your teammates. The next position is your scrum half and they have a wide variety of roles when it comes to the scrum itself They're the one feeding the ball into the scrum and they're really that in-between point from your forwards and your other players um, But they're an important role for your scrum getting the ball into the scrum to start it They're also a big playmaker when it comes to your attack So when there's not a scrum going on they're working with some of your other players to really run your attack up the field And a lot of times they're even like a sweeper in defense. So they have have a lot of different roles they're kind of all over the place and a very vital role to your game and your team the next position is your fly half and they have excellent running and attacking skills they're making a lot of your plays they're passing the ball moving the ball around really making a lot of those offensive plays they also do any of the kicking um, to reset anything so that's a very important thing in rugby sevens is the kicking and they're the person that's generally doing that your sixth position is your center, um, and they are generally your second to last pass before it gets out to the last player. Um, and they're really generally a bigger player, really bringing that into some contact, bringing the ball through some contact. They're also an important defensive player, making sure uh, that the other team's not able to run up the field really easily. They're kind of all over the place. They're not always your fastest player, but they're making important moves, getting the ball where it needs to be and stopping the other team from getting the ball where they want it to go. And they're also that person making that pass to your seventh player, which is your winger. This is your farthest outside player and they're trying to run up the field, get that ball down the sidelines to get it where it needs to go for you to be able to score. Wingers are also very important when it comes to moving and dodging other players, kind of swerving around everybody to get the ball up the field um, so that they can get that point and get your team to score some points with the help of your other players on your team. Where there's only seven players on the team for each side, it's very important that each player plays an important role in the game. They're really working together to try to get things done. They're the ones, um, there's a lot of moving around, so you may have to, as another player, kind of drop back on defense, depending on the movement of the game. Just being aware of where you are on the field, but understanding there's a lot more help that needs to happen in a game of rugby sevens than there is a 15, just because you have that many less players on the field, where you still have a pretty large area to play in. So that's the basics of rugby sevens positions. There's only seven positions. There's not a lot of them. Um, this game does move a lot quicker uh, than your rugby 15 games as there's way less people on the field. If you have any questions about the positions I've mentioned, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I will be linking the video to the rugby 15's position so you can learn more about that and how rugby union works. And if there's any other videos like this you'd like to see for my channel, let me know that as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next Wednesday. Mm -hmm.